the first thing I kind of wanted to ask you um, about your project is how do you think your presentation went today? Um, it was very nerve-wracking. Um, I think I did fairly well, considering usually I talk so fast that no one can understand me. Um, but I did a little bit of rambling, so that was frustrating. But um, I think it went pretty well. Awesome. Well, we think we did, you did an awesome job. Thank you. Um, so a couple of things I have questions about is the first thing is you spent a lot of time talking about um, kind of going through uh, different options and things like that. So what was something that you thought was like a really valuable skill that you learned from the process of like picking a project? Um, I think I learned a lot. Um, uh, I, l I was able to, I learned how to be able to troubleshoot better with a lot of things and it's really helped me especially with all the projects that we do in the school and all of that um, the fact that I'm able to kind of cope with change better because mm -hmm. before I kind of I was a bit of a perfectionist so I would kind of freak out if anything went wrong I kind of love how you took the aspect of rather than creating like an actual project you went and created tutorials for projects um, so do you want to talk to us a little bit more about how um, that how that I guess came to be um, I wanted to, I enjoy teaching people a lot and teaching people and helping people um, and I, um, I the, really the only way I get to teach people is sometimes I'll help tutor um, sixth graders or um, at karate I'll teach younger students um, but I wanted to help people, um, my original like I from the beginning I knew that I wanted to help teach people who didn't really have access to a whole lot of um, resources like like the Arduino boards or processing or all that and so that was kind of from the beginning it was always um, I want to incorporate my project into helping other people and so we kind of sat down and we had three different ways to go at the beginning and it was one that was like it was farthest from the helping people option but it was the most like robotics -y. there was one that was kind of like half and half and then there was one that was like more helping people less hands-on robotics and so we went for the half and half version so that's how nice. that happened um, so I know you worked a lot with like processing and so uh, I guess the question I have is have you contacted the uh, developers of processing to help them update their tutorials um, not yet but that's definitely on our list of things to do because when we redid that um, tutorial we were like, wow, this is really not good. And a lot of the tutorials actually um, were, didn't, they didn't help much. And I learned the most from taking their code and trying to figure out what it was saying, so. Cool, that's kind of a different approach to <laughs> learning how to code for sure. Um, so I guess my next question is, in terms of this kind of project, is this something that you could see, like, you applying to other types of projects or maybe adding on to in the future? Oh, definitely. I enjoy it a lot, and we're actually, um, we're, we're continuing meeting um, to continue on the Arduino light after the mentorship ends, which is really cool. I'm really thankful for that. She's really sweet. Love her. Awesome. Um, any words of advice to anyone doing this kind of tutorial or creating a tutorial or coding or participating in this program? Um, in the words of my mentor, Soja Morgans, um, you have to break something to figure out how it works. <laughs> so <That's awesome. laughs> um, if th things, things go bad and things you run into obstacles and sometimes code won't work and it might just because you for be just because you forgot a semicolon, semicolons will be the bane of your existence. Um, but you kind of, it, sometimes you have to start all over, but it's worth it in the end. Cool. All right, well, on behalf of Magic, we want to give you this certificate of achievement. Yay. Thanking you for all that you have done this Thank year. Um, it's signed by Ira, who you met during the Austin, um, the Austin meetup that we did. Yes. Thank you so much, Nova. Thank you. <laughs>